Would anyone do me a favour? Uh, can I drill a small hole uh, into your skull and fish out a little bit of brain uh, every Monday so I can run my experiments? The answer is absolutely not, uh, for a variety of logistical, not to mention ethical reasons. But why exactly do I want a chunk of your brain? Well, stroke is a leading cause of disability in New Zealand and affects one in every five New Zealanders, causing them to have slurred speech and to lose the ability to move half their body. And for many patients, these symptoms never go away. During a stroke, a blood clot, shown as the blue dot on the head behind me, becomes stuck in one of the major blood vessels of the brain. This causes the endothelial cells that form a protective layer around the blood vessel to start to leak, which allows hazardous compounds to move from the blood into the sensitive brain tissue beneath, where they damage the neurons that allow us to think, feel, and move. Although we do have some treatments for stroke, uh, they're not very good, they're dangerous, and they're difficult to do, so they often don't get used. In my research, I want to improve this by studying the endothelial cells that line the blood vessels, and since no one's kind enough to share, uh, I have to grow my own. So how does one do that? Well, I start off with stem cells, which are shown in the day one picture behind me. They have the little islands. And the first thing I do is I take out two of the components of the food I give them every day. And by day five, they cover the entire image. However, these cells are still not forming the close, intimate associations that allow the endothelial cells to protect the brain. So I switch their food again, and I give them another type of food that contains many of the factors that are found in the brain. And by day nine, they form a beautiful, flat endothelial layer that looks exactly like that layer protecting your brain. Now, although I can tell you that, you don't believe me, uh, so I grow them on a special electrode that allows me to measure electrically how much leakage is through that barrier. And as you can see, over the last 24 hours, the sheet starts off not very intimate, anyone could walk through that conversation, but by the end of the period, it becomes stronger and stronger with more and more resistance. And by the end of that 24-hour period, I have a really strong barrier, like that protecting my brain and your brain right now. Now that I have these in the dish where I can keep an eye on them, uh, I'm going to subject them to the conditions that happen during stroke and watch that barrier go away. I'm then going to try a variety of both existing and new treatments to see if we can protect that endothelial monolayer, keep all the components of the blood out of the brain, thereby curing one in five New Zealanders without damaging the audience.